What's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be installing the uh, timing gear for the crank. Should be a super simple process. All you'll need is your new timing gear. I'll use my old one as a spacer, like so. And then we will just use an old crank bolt to press it onto the snout of the crank. It is key weighed, so it can only go on one way. And as long as you put the teeth towards the motor instead of out, can't mess it up. So we're going to get to it. All right, guys, like I said, it's key weight, so it can only go on one way. Just kind of spin it around till you find it. Get your old one. You start threading on your crank bolt, and then you can just start tightening it down, which will press it onto the crank for you. I know, my little bitty crescent wrench. As you can see, the crank is starting to spin. So since it's key weighed, we can kind of just put a bind on it while we turn. And the compression should help keep it from rotating over too much anyways. getting close like I said once you once you're there it'll stop you'll know it all right, so we're all the way there now we'll just give it a good old snug And that is how you install a new crank timing gear. Super simple process. You can kind of see it's press fit on there. Super simple, guys. All you'll need is your crank bolt, which you should have if you remove your harmonic bouncer to get to the sprocket anyways, and your old one. So all you do is use old in the brown, uh, your old bolt and your old timing gear to press the new one on. Super simple. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.